Hi, I'm Carla Hayden, the Librarian of Congress. And earlier this year, we selected Jason Reynolds to be the seventh National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. And I chose Jason because he is a passionate advocate for lifelong learning and a tireless champion for young people's ingenuity and creativity. He became one of the library's key ambassadors at an important and difficult time for all of us. As the coronavirus changes the way we connect to one another, Jason has changed the way he reaches you too. He created Write, 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 a video series that prompts young people to build their imaginations and write in new and inventive ways. And right away, we heard how much you like those videos, and I love them too. In fact, I've even tried one or two of his prompts. Now, here we are in mid-June, and school is out or almost out. And to ensure that you have something fresh and exciting to do this summer, Jason retooled Right, Right, Right to address sunny, sometastic themes. And I know you'll be thrilled. So what do you say? It's a virtual summer camp with Jason. And let's join in. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. Yo, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? What's good? What's good? How y'all feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Uh, this is Jason Reynolds and welcome back to another, I think this is like, who knows what the number is, but welcome back to another episode of the Right, Right, Right with me. Now, it's summertime. It's beautiful outside. The sun is shining. You see, I got the sun behind me. I would have gone outside, but they're doing construction and so I can't do these tapes, these videos outside. Um, but I got a little sunshine in my house. So uh, I wanted to bring that to you. And more importantly, everything is growing, right? This is my favorite time of the year because everything is growing. You got the, the plants are growing and the grass is growing and the birds are chirping and everything, is, you know, worms are becoming butterflies and all of that is happening, right? And so I actually wanted to talk about plants, which are, you know, I got, you can't see, but my house is full of plants. I have plants everywhere. Uh, my mom used to always say, you got to keep living things around you. And so I love, I love plants. Um, and here's one right here. Actually, look at that. It's just growing in this bottom. It's growing really well right now because the sun is shining and it's, it's getting what it needs. It doesn't have any soil because it doesn't need it, but but it's definitely getting water and it's definitely getting sun. Um, beautiful, beautiful plant. Look how look how green it is. Um, and so I want us to think about what it would be like if we were plants. Imagine yourself as a plant. Let's say you're a seed and you're in the soil. When you grow and blossom, what do you blossom into? What do you look like? What do the leaves look like in the bulb? What exactly do you blossom into? And more importantly, what do you need to blossom, right? I want us to write down what we need to blossom. Now, first we have to, to define what the sunshine is for us, right? For me, the sunshine might be discipline or it might be uh, education, right? And then we have to define what the water means to us. The water might mean love or family. I don't know, whatever you want. There's no right or wrong. And then you have to decide how much sunlight do you need and how much water do you need? Um, and what's the perfect combination to get you to grow and blossom? Y'all figure that out. And then you let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and until next time, uh, y'all take care of yourselves. Oh, before I go, tell your little brother that he got to do like 20 or 30 push-ups a day. And eventually he get that little tennis ball in his arm. All right. Tell him keep pushing. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.